Hello, and again, welcome to Portal. Um, today's episode, we're going to be doing a speedrun. Um, because I've never properly tried to complete Portal as fast as possible. Although, just kind of like, hey, let's do this fast, not as fast as possible. And it seems like fun. And you've been enjoying the content, so let's do it. Um, the out-of-universe premise, sort of, is... Uh, as you can see, my playtime for Portal on Steam is 23 and a half hours. So my goal here is going to be to complete the game, meaning get through, kill GLaDOS, watch the end credits, get back to the main menu with the cake on it, and quit before I've played one full game, one full day of this game on Steam. Yes? So that means... Um, ground rules. I have to try to complete the game as quickly as possible, not to get a completion of the game that's as fast as possible. Meaning, I'm not allowed to reset the game. If I screw up a trick, uh, I can't load back to the last save to try it again. I just have to work with it. Um, I guess sometimes it could help me, but I'm setting the rule that I'm not allowed to. Just kind of on a philosophical basis. Um... And secondly, like, <laughs> that's basically the most important rule, is I have to start on chamber, si on chamber zero and go through as quickly as possible without going back and retrying anything. If I die, that's okay, that'll reset me and I have to start over from there, but I'm not allowed to, like, skirt the rules on loading the last save by jumping into goo and dying. That would be... That would be stupid. Um, I'm also not allowed to make a quick save, but I don't usually make quick saves anyway, so that doesn't matter. And yeah, besides that, anything go goes. So let's get started, shall we? I don't know if the volume slider is going to appear on the video, but that was too loud for me. Um, I'm recording desktop audio separately, so it wouldn't be too loud for you. But start at chamber zero. Um, okay. Unless I'm really good at the game. Yeah, no chance. Can't skip this. Before they figured out how to skip through this, and again, welcome uh, to the Aperture Science Computer Aided Enrichment Center. We hope your brief detention in the relaxation vault has been a pleasant one. Your specimen has been processed, and we are now ready to begin the test proper. We Before they managed to skip out of this chamber, speedrunners just had a save with like three seconds left on the clock here, so they wouldn't have to sit through this every time they reset. For your own safety and the safety of Which, when the game lasts 10 minutes tops for a speedrunner, I mean, that's fine. They kind of need that. The portal will open right in 3, 2, 1. Ugh. So, again, a speedrunner trick. Speedrunner would grab the cube and fling it onto the button. But my yes, flinging sir. skills are trash, so I can't do that. After completing each test, Did I really get stuck on the elevator stairs? The incandescent particle field across the exit. This aperture science material emancipation grid will vaporize any unauthorized equipment that passes through it. For instance, the aperture science weighted storage cube. Please place the weighted storage cube on the 1500 megawatt Aperture Science Heavy Duty Super Colliding Super Button. Um, for the record, in the category we're running, which is inbound no save load abuse, basically because I cannot perform out of bound Perfect. glitches or save lo Please load abuse. To the chamber lock um, the effects of prolonged exposure to the button are not part of this test. I think the actual, like, speedrun world record is about 10 minutes uh if i actually get exactly 30 minutes i would be amazed if that isn't like if that's like in the lowest 
1200. Well. This is a very is optimized AI category, so. So basically, there's not a point to me putting in the effort to put get a actual timer on screen and submit this as a very speed good. run. You are now in possession of the Aperture Science and Health I screw that up device. again. With it, you can create your own portals. These intradimensional gates have proven to be completely Why safe. Why I'm trying to the talk? Device, however, has not. Do Thank not touch you. the operational end of the device. Do not look directly at the operational end of the device. Do not submerge the device in liquid, even partially. Most importantly, under no circumstances should you... Well done. Remember, the Aperture Science Bring Your Daughter to Work Day is the perfect time to have her tested. I'm not even sure if I can get half an hour, but if I did submit it, it would be like not even the top 1200, I'm sure. So I could put up a clock, download the right software to time this run, and uh, to test chamber four. You're doing quite try to file this video as a proper speed run with the authorities. Once again. Excellent work. As part of our required test protocol, we will not monitor the next test chamber. But I don't really see the point to own. submit a score Good to luck. that bad. Part of a required test protocol, our previous statement suggesting that we would not monitor this chamber was an outright fabrication. Good job. As part of a required test protocol, we will stop enhancing the truth in three, two, one. You can see how this is one of the ones where movement isn't that important because the elevator doesn't move until GLaDOS shuts up. So kind of okay to screw up the movement a little bit. This, I believe, is somewhere where there is a really easy, well, not a easy, but a really good trick to you kind of put a portal here and drop into the orange portal. And then you can strafe your way onto the platform. And it saves you maybe five, 10 seconds there. Um, honestly, I could probably learn to do it. I just don't remember the position of the portal off the top of my head, so I didn't try it. Because it will save me less time than it will get than I will lose trying to get it right. Similarly, on this one, um, you can put a portal right there. Really? Uh, um. Now use the aperture science on stationary no. scaffold to reach the Damn it, I screwed up so bad. Um, I'm choking. You can uh, put a portal right here and sort of uh, launch yourself like that through it. And if you're really good at the game and do, do this shit, oh my god, I haven't screwed up chapter chamber seven like this in a long time. <sighs> If you are good at the game and you can land on this thing, you can stand on that and just sort of jump over here. And you can complete the whole test like in a quarter of the time I just did because I fucked up so bad. Ah, uh, that's kind of embarrassing. <coughs> okay, chamber eight. Please know that we have added a consequence for failure. Any contact with the chamber floor will result in an unsatisfactory mark on your official testing record, followed by death. Good luck. So the speedrun route is from there, you can put a portal here, jump on this thing here, and jump around the corner onto this. Very impressive. Um. Please note that any appearance of danger is merely a device to enhance your testing experience. 
to do that you kind of have to do the trick where you shoot the portal and then come back through it so you can be on the other side of it when it lands because you can't see the right spot from inside the center regrets to inform you that this next test is impossible make no attempt to solve it but I can't land the second jump on that. I can actually get to the little outcropping in the wall, but I can't get all the way to the railing, so I never try that. Of extreme pessimism. Ten is actually a chamber that has a very interesting skip, and we'll see if I can um, actually do this. Probably not. Hello again. To reiterate, to be honest, I like that solution a lot more than the intended route, but. Okay, I'm going to try a trick on this one exactly once, and I'm probably not going to be able to land it, but... Ha! Okay, never mind. Look at that. Um, when I tested it, I found that I'm very bad at that. <laughs> I get it like one in four times the tops. Subject hometown, here. But that's kind of a big skip, because 11 is a long chamber if you do it correctly. So I'm ha really happy about that. I can't. Seriously? That actually might have landed on there anyway, but... Oh, I forgot. There's a minor skip there. You saw in the hallway right before we got here, there was a little portal surface. Um, I actually could have shot a portal there. And instead of going all the way down and relaunching, I could have saved like a second on it. Now that you are in control of both portals, but, this next test should know. take a very, very long time. If you become lightheaded from thirst, feel free to pass out. An intubation associate will be dispatched to revive you with peptic salve and adrenaline. That wouldn't have been a big As skip. Part of a previously mentioned I like how I can get here before she completes no her intro line. To you. But when the testing you is can over, tell the difference between a chamber I've practiced and a chamber I haven't. All subjects intending to handle high energy gamma leaking portal technology must be informed that they may be informed of applicable regulatory Fuck. compliance issues. What the heck? No further compliance information what is, is required or will be provided. I'm totally disoriented. And you are an excellent there we go. test subject. Wow, I lost a lot of time to there. I don't know why it didn't come out of the portal facing the way I was expecting. But I almost literally just lost that trick. <laughs> I mean, I wouldn't have lost it. I just would have had to set it up again, but um, a little bit of time the lost there. Center is committed to the well-being of all participants. Oh, there's another, hey, this is another place where there's a cool way to speed that test. part up. Thank you for helping uh, us help you help us all. It's also a little untextured section here. Um, this is not going to lose me a lot of time, but yeah, that's supposed to have textures. <laughs> it just doesn't. To ensure the safe performance of all authorized activities, do not destroy vital testing apparatus. Ah, oh, really? Damn it. 
Um, there is an easier way to do that. Second, I thought that I missed that portal. First death. Um, stood too far into the portal. Wonderful. Um, where am I? Oh, great. Um, can I do this? I'm not sure this is the faster route, but no. Okay, never mind. There's a way to uh, get this jump set up so that you just fall into it and sort of fly over the top of that, but... Wow, of all the unlucky places I could put the fucking portal, right? Uh... <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, that's just a funny death. Really? I do that twice in a row? Well, not in a row. You get what I'm saying. This is another place you have to kind of fly up there. But, not good at it, so not trying it. But it's a lot like that, actually. You just uh, land on the platform instead of missing. And you would save, what was that, 15, 20 seconds? Okay, chamber 16. Uh, if I was really, really good at this, I know there's a route that I didn't practice. Um, you saw me practice this one a lot, but there's a route that I did not practice that's ridiculously faster. Um, where after if you land this... Come on. Be nice to me, please. This does not want to work for me today, huh? Thanks. Um... There's a way to skip through this chamber pretty much entirely by portal bumping it, but... Uh, why am I doing this, by the way? Why was I doing that? I For a second, my brain started doing the advanced test chamber route instead of just fucking solving it. Can you please work? Please. Wow. That was actually kind of a glitch. I think it bounced off the turret without going through, but... He's over. See, it would be kind of cool if I remembered this whole route the way it was supposed to be done. Oh my god, please. Can you... Are you... Android. The enrichment Jeez. center once again reminds you that Android Hell is a real place where you will be sent at the first sign of defiance. When I did the um it's called an individual level route for the for that chamber, it was so much better than that and it was still trash, by the way. <clears throat> the okay. The trick I showed you on that one, the portal two, bump. Three, this two, is where I one remembered slash realized that it's super useful too. Seriously, not so I can drop the cube, but... Basically... The symptoms most commonly produced by because you can cheat. Testing are superstition, um, okay, I'm an scared of this bellet. Where is it? And hallucinations. The enrichment center reminds you that the weighted companion oh, this is, this is bad. will this never is very threaten bad. to stab you and, in fact, cannot speak. Okay. Um, yeah, you know how you can do the whole chamber? Now it works. Yeah, I could do the whole chamber or I could do that. The weighted companion cube certainly brought you good luck. However, it cannot accompany you for the rest of the test and, unfortunately, must be euthanized. 
Okay. Please escort. You euthanized your faithful companion cube more quickly than any test subject on record. Congratulations. Yeah, yeah, that's a lot faster than solving the chamber or even doing some portal um, nonsense or a, a towering glitch to skip it. Oh, wait, this is 18. Sorry. Is required to I totally you forgot that. You will be and then there will be cake. I was about to actually solve the chamber. How stupid of me. Uh, will this work for me? Don't think so. Okay, well. That's a massive shame, but I have to live with that. I will, however, uh... Dude. Oh my god. Is my movement this bad? Ah! I hit the button! Damn it. Um, how do you set this up? The, where is the longest fall? Pretty sure, no, it's here. Oh! Oh my god. That's so on, that's so sad. Yeah, this part is kind of hard if you don't actually kill the turrets. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm gonna try this one more time, and then I'm gonna give up and actually kill them. Oh my god. Okay, screw this. I'm doing it intended. This, this is, this is just depressing. But... I am losing too much time to trying to do the trick by flying over there. Like a person who can play this game well. Um, which obviously I am apparently not. Because I really should be able to complete that glitch. But... I guess it's not a glitch, it's more like a skip, but you can fly over here, drop down from that onto this little ledge, and then go back over here the way you normally would. But no, I can't make it work today, so... I guess that trick isn't something that I act ever actually practice, because, uh... Well, because I don't like doing this part in general, so if I'm practicing a Chamber 18 trick, I do the uh, double edge glitch recently, or the camera. Please. Um, neither of which work for me because the camera is too inconsistent and because I failed the double edge glitch. So, massive, massive loss of time there. But, whatever. Totally not salty about it. Well done. Be advised that the next test requires exposure to uninsulated electrical parts that may be dangerous under certain conditions. For more information, please attend an Enrichment Center Electrical Safety Seminar. Yeah, probably not gonna hit that half hour mark. Um, with a time loss like that on Chamber 18, um, that was just trash. Um, here there's a way you can like portal up here, stand on this, Welcome shoot through here, test. and uh, you actually when just you end up done, in the incinerator room if you do that right. I don't know how to do it, it, so... Enrichment center regulations require both hands to be empty before any oh. cake. I really screwed that one up. 
All right. Um, there's also a way you can do this by like portal standing your way across, but I'm not good at portal stands. Trick where you go like that. But that's actually a really, really efficient way to solve this chamber because this platform is absurdly slow. To ensure the safe performance of all authorized activities, do not destroy vital testing apparatus. Um, so I'm just gonna accept the fact that I lose an unconscionable amount of time to this ride. Just because I'm not good enough at the glitch to go here, 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 etc. This is like the part of the game where I could really, really save time if I practiced it. Speaking of which, this part here, getting out of the incinerator, if I screw up the way that I did the first time I played the full game, um, I'm about to have a bad time. Yeah, this, is, this part is why speedrunners don't do the full trick, because this portal is so slow, if you can do anything to end up here, before the ride gets far enough that you can jump in here. That's just huge. What are you doing? There we go. Stop it. Hi, hi, hi. We are pleased that you made it through the final challenge where we pretended we were going to murder you. Really? That's not a portal surface? We are very, oh my very god. Happy for your success. We are throwing a party in honor of your tremendous success. Hello. Where are you? Okay. Let's see if I can stop screwing up. Probably not, right? Please, can I not get stuck on random pieces of geometry? Um, it'd be really helpful if I wasn't trash, but you know. Come on. Let me through. Let me out. Okay, the test is over now. You win. Go back to the recovery annex for your cake. It was a fun test, and we're all impressed at how much you want. The test is over. Come back. Other places where I could save a lot of time by being optimized. Yes. I don't really know the routes for this escape part, so I'm just kind of reverting to trying to do intended route quickly, which is crappy. Because um, I know for a fact this part of the game is ridiculously broken and you can just sort of do it. Uh, that did go through. That, uh, I thought that missed. Come on. Um, this part of the game is much more optimized than how I'm playing it. Really? Um... Like, actual speedrunners don't see all the same geometry that we're seeing. Because I'm not playing well. Because I don't know the route. Is it really Gatos? Once again, there's that line that's supposedly not common. Way. Um, 
Can I do it? See, if I was faster, I could have actually ended up over there. There's nothing there. You just die if you go there, I think. But... Seriously. Please put me down. Go away. I can see the portal. You're not a good person. You know that, right? Good people don't end up here. Can you hear me? As you can see, you actually have to wait for that turret to die for this thing to go up, which sucks. But it is what it is. Um, this is your fault. It didn't have to be like this. Yes, it did. I'm not kidding now. Turn back, or I will kill you. I'm going to kill you. <laughs> you don't I really love that they programmed that. Do you? This is your last chance. The part where, uh, if you get hit by the rocket, you hear that tinnitus sound. Shoot me. Thank you. Shoot me again. Um, it's just a nice little glitch that, like, a game like Portal has no right to imp to um, need because there's like two rocket turrets in the entire game. Please. But you know, it's a nice touch. Come on, stupid shit. How do I want to approach this? Because I want to, f I want to just kind of kill turrets until I get to the point where I can actually see. Yeah, okay. I want to f go away. What the hell was that? So where I want to be is here, because I want to be able to see this. And... Oh god. I have majorly screwed up. Um, I don't really want to do this whole fight because it takes time even if I'm good at it. But... Okay. So... This is the exact one I didn't really want to be in. Actually, this is fine. This is fine. This is totally and completely fine. This would be fine if I was not garbage. There we go. See, who needs to do the chamber properly? Yeah, this whole fight is just kind of optional. Really nice thing. Ah! I wanted to hit this really. Um... Okay, at least now we're really close to the end, so let's see how good a time I can actually get. Definitely not half an hour. Um, which is a shame, I could have got it if I was landing the tricks, but it is what it is. And what else was I found you? Because despite your violent behavior, the only thing you've managed to break so far is my heart. Maybe you could settle for that, and we'll just call it a day. I guess we both know that isn't going to happen. You chose this path. Now I have a surprise for you. Deploying surprise in five, four... Time out for a second. No. Ha! I did it. Me. Did you just Stuff that aperture science thing, thing we don't know what it does. does into an aperture science emergency intelligence incinerator? That has got to be the dumbest thing that whoa, 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 whoa. Good news. I figured I out what that thing you just incinerated did. did.
It was a more yeah, if you they installed after I you can bring one of the turrets from that fight and get it right here if you can skip that fizzler. Um, and you can just shoot all these three cores off GLaDOS instead of listening to this dialogue, which would be really convenient, but... You know, things that I don't know how to... Uh, I should not have done that, I should not Now. But, where are you? Alright. Keep doing whatever it is you think you're doing. Healing you and giving you good advice aren't oh. For a second I thought it came through and I was like, oh my god, did I screw it up? Yeah, this is a much more efficient way to handle. Two plus two is... In baseball, Off the course. But, yes. Yeah. yeah, I've kind of screwed this, these parts out a little bit. Ah, well, not where I wanted to end up. Shoot. Really? Can you get your shit together, Rocket Turret? Apparently they programmed her to struggle, like, um, their goal was to look like a woman in bondage, like she was an actual living person tied up with rope. Please, can I not do that? Oh gosh. I don't like this core. It is so easy to miss grabbing it. And like... Uh, okay. There we go. Now we're done. And now it's out of my hands. So let's see what time we actually end up after everything. You're not a doctor. You're not even a full-time employee. I'm not doing anything productive right now for the record. I'm just kind of waiting. Uh, yeah, getting stuck on geometry, always a good time. We. Okay. And like I said, according to the rules, we have to watch these cutscenes because, um, yeah, why would you not want to listen to Still Alive? And we have to exit the main menu and time stops then. Um, so we shall see what this is. I'm thinking 40 minutes, although I haven't been checking a clock, so I could be very wrong. But I, I, this was... I could have done a lot better. Especially on Chamber 18. Um, that was kind of a really, really bad showing. 15, I screwed up on a lot. Um, most of the others I did pretty okay, I guess. Like, I lost time, but it wasn't huge compared to the route I had in mind. But 18 and 15 were just brutal and of course like 19 I could save a lot of time if I just got better at the route um, would be the major improvement if I actually wanted to learn how to do this correctly say Levy. After all, it was a triumph. Was a triumph. I'm, I'm making a note here, huge success. It's hard to overstate my satisfaction. Actually, it's pretty easy to overstate my satisfaction. I just did. Um, but that's because I'm hard on myself. You know me. Okay, I won't subject you to any more of me. Just listen to the song. 
except the ones who are dead. But there's no sense crying over every mistake. You just keep on trying till you run out of cake. Then the science gets done and you make a neat plan for the people who are still alive. I'm not even angry. I'm being so sincere right now. Okay. Oh, 24.2. Wow. Well, wow. terrible. Well, I hope you enjoyed watching that run, even if it was terrible. Um, let me know if you want me to do something like that again. Uh, maybe I'll add a face cam this time so you can see me exaggeratingly mimicking singing still alive at the end. Hopefully you enjoyed, even though I screwed it up. And yeah, thanks for watching.